Now that the family of the New York lawyer at the center of the state's outbreak, we are hearing from that family for the first time this morning. Whit Johnson has the latest from outside the hospital here in Manhattan where the patient is still in critical condition. Good morning, Whit. Robin, good morning to you. The family of the patient that's being treated at this hospital behind me here says that they are very hopeful that he will make a full recovery. But the impact of this outbreak is being felt across the state. And now the mayor of New York City with an ominous warning that we could see hundreds of cases here within the next few weeks. This morning, Adina Garbuz, the wife of Lawrence Garbuz, the sickened attorney from New York's Westchester County, speaking out, saying her husband, who is hospitalized after contracting COVID-19, remains critical, but says she is very hopeful of his full recovery. Adina, who along with two of the couple's children, has tested positive for the virus, writing in a statement, when I first heard that Lawrence was positive, I immediately recognized there was going to be pandemonium all around us, adding, no one else in my family has been sick other than a slight cough. Adina says she believes her 50-year-old husband was run down and susceptible to the illness he acquired and says that as soon as she found out about his diagnosis, she contacted everyone in our firm and all were quarantined and have been working remotely ever since. Bob Kent lives just down the street from the family. Do you get the sense that people are anxious about what will happen next? Yes, I think people have pretty well decided that it's, in a sense, unstoppable. 32-year-old physician's assistant James Kai says he tested positive for the virus last week after attending a medical conference in New York City. They are surprised it can be turned out that bad so quickly, and, and I'm so young. I don't drink, I don't smoke. Meanwhile, the number of cases in New York growing to more than 100. On Saturday, an Uber driver, a man in his 30s, testing positive as well and is currently hospitalized in Queens. Uber saying it removed the man's access to the app and that it's working closely with public health authorities. Officials now working to identify the driver's passengers. Governor Cuomo declaring a state of emergency and taking aim at the CDC. CDC, wake up. Let the states test, let private labs test, let's increase as quickly as possible our testing capacity. Both Hofstra University and Columbia University are canceling classes for the remainder of the week after the exposure of some students and staff members there. And another school district in hard hit Westchester County also shutting down for at least nine days following a positive test result for one of the teachers. TJ. All right, Whit, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.